guys welcome back to my channel so today I got some new stuff i got the wet n wild bronzer limited edition called queensland i really want to try this i got the wet n wild cat suit uh the liquid lip cat suit matte in called toffee talk i really want to use that i got a new blush that wish shot me so sorry shot me so i got this blush right here called uh uh, Peach. This is by the Mallow Glitz. You guys know I really do love these blushes by Shop Misa. Really good. So these are the new things that I want to try out with you guys and see how they look on the face. So everything's pretty much done um, except for the blush, bronzer, contour. I am going to use one of my favorite highlighters right now. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter with Nikki's tutorials that they did. So I'm gonna use this today. And you guys, you guys just know by now that it's so beautiful. Like, one swipe, come on guys. This is $9.99, so this is a really good highlighter that she made for fair skinned people. So I'm gonna use my new brush by uh, AOA Studios F19. This is a highlighting brush. I'm just gonna go back in with the Maybelline Master Chrome. And we're just gonna put this on the face. There we go. Get some highlight in there. Love it, it's so pretty. And I do love these brushes, they're a dollar. And they're really soft and I think they're synthetic, so I think they're really pretty. And next week, so. Next, I'm going to go into the bronzer, and this is the Wet n Wild bronzer called Queensland. And it's got like a dragon on it, it looks like. So this may be from the Dragon, the Ice and Fire collection. This is what it looks like, guys. Very pretty looking. I'm going to swatch it. Okay, so it's like a dark brown. Looks like it might have a sheen to it. But we're going to see if it works. I'm going to use the uh, La Soya Contour Brush. Okay, so picked up product. Not too dusty, actually. All right, here we go. There we go. Hmm. Looks like it's kind of sitting there and not blending up. It might be my foundation too. I used a kind of an older foundation that I, it smelled funny when I was putting it on. So it might have been expired. So I threw it out after I used it to see if it was still good. And it, it kind of smelled a little funny. So I threw it out after I used it. So I think my face is going to hate me today. But... I haven't used that foundation in a really long time, but so it actually is not a not bad bronzer. It kind of just stood there a little bit, but you just got to work it in really blending it. I thought this was going to be too light, but it's actually a pretty good shade match for me. So I really do like that. Let me get the chin. I'm just gonna kind of pitch the ends and kind of on them down the nose a little bit to contour. I actually think it came out really good. Then I'm just going to take a big puffy brush and we're just going to make sure everything's softened, all the edges are good. I can't believe somebody's mowing their lawn. It snowed yesterday and it didn't stick, but I can't believe somebody's mowing their lawn now. 
they have that done. I really do like this bronzer. It's really good. And it was only, I think, $5.99. So that's good. I'm going to go into the, the Maybelline Glitz Blusher. Um, so this one is really good. Blush. They're just called blushers. Uh, one is like a rose colored one. This is like the rose colored one. And I use this quite a bit. And then this one is kind of like the um, peach one. So I love how they have roses in them. Like for a dollar, you get like a really pretty. Like you get a mirror and you get like a rose stamped into it. So I really like that. So I'm going to use just a blush brush. We're going to go into this peach blush. And I'm going to use the mirror because we always like using the mirror. That works. Just kind of like swiping it in and kind of putting it in the bronzer a little bit. So, you got, so with that foundation, you guys can still see the outline of my red pigment spot. I have been on uh, Tati West's Kiwi for, I think, two weeks now. It seems like the red pigment spot calms down at night after I've taken the pill early in the morning. Um, but I do really like this blush. Very pretty. I'm going to swatch it so you guys can see it. So that's, that's the peach blush swatched. And then here is the rose one. Ooh, I almost dug my finger in it. This is the rose one that I use quite a bit. Swatched. So they're really good brushes, but I wanted to try a peach one and see what happened. I think it's really good. It's a really good blush. I like it. It's pretty. Not too over-empowering. L'Oreal Paris Paradise Enchanted peach scented eyeshadow palette so i'm gonna take this e22 i'm gonna go into this shade right here which doesn't have a name this shade right here this is gonna be my base shade and i heard that this has a lot of like fallout in the pan so we're gonna keep watch of that So then the next shade I'm going to go into is I'm going to go into this dark brown shade called number eight right here. This is going to be our crease shade today. It's pigmented, not too much fallout actually. I'm just doing window, wind, window wiper motions, guys. Okay, next brush, I'm the 17 brush, and I'm gonna go into this um, dark shade right here called number nine. Ooh, that one's a little powdery. You guys can see? That one's a little powdery. And I'm just gonna go into it and just deepen out the outer V of the eye. And I'm gonna put this on the lower lash line as well. Okay, so now that I have the lower lash line done, I think it's actually coming together really well. I'm gonna take a clean brush and just make sure everything is bluffed together really well. No harsh edges. Okay. They blended out really easily. This one had look this one right here looks like it has a lot of fallout in the pan, so just be warned. I'm gonna swatch a couple of these. I swatched this one, this one, this one, and this one. So be forewarned, they don't have names. Okay, so they're all really pigmented, 
very pretty. I definitely like this one and this one. I don't know if a bronze, this one's really good, like rose gold, but I don't, I'm not really into bronzing ones. So I think I'm going to go into this one down here and I'm going to put that in the middle of the lid. And I don't know if I'm going to need any fixed plus, but I'm going to start it just by putting it in the center of the lid. This one might need some, some setting spray. I'm going to use the Catrice. I'm going to go in again. And it's peach scented and it does smell like peaches. So I will review that. <sighs> okay. Now that I have that I'm in the corner, like right here, I'm going to use this shade called number one, this one right here. This is going to be a good brow bone shade. And I'm just going to put this all over the corner of the lid. I think it might need some setting spray. I'm going to use MAC for this one. We're going to see what happens if it changes. I put this in the brow bone. I'm gonna use a big powder brush to wipe away any fallout, which was, I don't think I had too much fallout with the mattes. I think it's with the shimmers because I was using a brush. But so far I really like the palette. The only problem is, is that this one is very, very soft and does have a lot of fallout in the pan. But so far I think the look came out pretty nice. And I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into this one right here. This is gonna be an inner corner highlight. And I'm just gonna go into it. I'm not gonna really, yeah, it didn't need fix plus. I think it's good. Okay, so I'm done with this. I'm gonna do the lips now. We're gonna use this Toffee Talk. One. I don't think I have a lip liner for this, but we're going to see what happens when it looks like. So, you guys know I love Wet n Wild lipsticks. It's a very different color. I've never actually used a color like this. But it's actually pretty good. I like it. It's an interesting color. All right, and now I'm gonna do the mascara off camera and I will be back in just a second. All right, guys, I am back. I do like this color. It's getting me out of my comfort zone. It's not usually a color I go for, but it's very cool looking. It's called Toffee Talk. I think this is for like Halloween, like this is supposed to be for Halloween, but it actually is a pretty nice color. Okay, so for the L'Oreal Paris Paradise Enchanted Scented Eyeshadow in Peach, I do like it. The only problem is, is that number nine is actually pretty like soft and very powdery. But other than that, they blended out really nicely. They were pigmented. Um, some of the shadows, you do have to use a little Fix Plus to make them a little bit more intense. But other than that, they were really good. You guys know I love my Malibu Glitz blush. I think it looks really good on me. What are your guys' thoughts? let me know. And then the last thing, the bronzer Queensland by Wet n Wild. I think it's actually really good bronzer for my skin. I thought it was going to be too dark, but it actually is pretty good. So 
everything I liked. So here's how much everything cost. This cost around eight bucks, so it wasn't too bad. This was around $4.97, which is a little pricey because I think they're cheaper on the Wet n Wild website. I'm guessing, I think they're like $3.97 or $2.97, don't quote me, but it was $4.97 at Walmart, which is a little pricey. And then this was $4.99, which is kind of high, but it's a limited edition, so it's not gonna be out very much longer. I think this was a summer thing, um, just because the Fire and Ice came out like a couple months, couple weeks or come up like a couple months ago uh that much i do know and it's a limited edition so you know limited edition other than that i like everything so as always please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos and if you don't like me i really don't care this is what i like doing about makeup so i will see you guys on the next one bye